Cisco stock is almost at its 52 week low. Should you be buying now? Hey and welcome back to another video here at Fisco Voyage. My name is Felix and today's video I'm going to go over a previous video that I did on August 14 about Cisco. Uh, we went through some of the information about Cisco that the day that company dropped almost 10% uh, and I gave you my recommendation which was a hold at that time period and now let's revisit that video as well as let's see how the company is doing now and to determine if it's a good buy at current prices. So, but before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video um, for the YouTube algorithm. And also check out my free ebook in the description below, five quick metrics to look for before spending more of your time in any particular company. You on Cisco stock, uh, is Cisco stock a value today? And I made a few comments on this video on August 14, uh, let's hear it. I think right now the company looks to be fairly valued not too uh, drastically, it might be even undervalued slightly. But if I was to purchase more shares, I think a price under $40 is where I'm uh, more interested in. So anything under $40 for Cisco is where I think I want to buy more shares of. Because I have an, a pretty nice uh, position right now and I'm comfortable with it. And because the company is fairly valued and their uh, analysts are estimating a negative 3%, uh, so I said that under $40 will present a good buying opportunity and as, as of today Cisco is at $37.70 down uh, a percent and a half as of today and since that video August 14 here you can see it is dropped uh, some times here and is right now as you see $37.70 it has a very nice yield at 3.76% Let's look at the fast graph for Cisco. You can see here it's now under um, the $40 mark that I mentioned. Uh, this was yesterday's closing price. So again, it's lower today. Um, but based on yesterday's closing price, and if it goes back to a normal multiple around 14, you can have a nice total annual rate of return of about 13.8% um, based on uh, this price. So even lower today, uh, so this might be over 14%. Um, and even if it just stays flat around a multiple of 12, you still have a nice rate of return at about 7.7%. And then eventually it will come back to its normal multiple about 14. And analysts are pretty good in um, estimating Cisco earnings. You can see here the one year earnings is about 75% hit and 8% beat from the company. And the two years even better at 92% hit and only an 8% miss. So I'm very confident with these earnings estimates of $3.09 for fiscal year 2021 and fiscal year 2022 $3.33 which is higher than 2020 uh, fiscal year $3.21. So and analysts are expecting um, a decent growth in earnings at about 4% here and for the long term about 5% and if we look at Yahoo estimates um, Yahoo has a next five year earnings growth of about 6.2% um, and analysts are expecting uh, average price of about $48 versus the current price of $37 so it looks undervalued based on Yahoo. It looks undervalued based on the fast graph here as well. Uh, let's look at uh, Morningstar again. So you see here Morningstar gives Cisco a four star out of five which is a buying recommendation. Again this was yesterday's closing price. Uh, they have a fair price of about $48, more in line with Yahoo as well. And economic mode is decent here, a good uh, narrow mode. Uh, overall, the company has a solid balance sheet, a uh, debt to equity ratio of 0 0.38. Interest coverage is very, very well covered at 24. Uh, so overall, the company does look undervalued. Um, fast graph looks good here. Adjusted earnings yield of 8.34 is better than the 6.57. Uh, percent criteria that I have so this is good there a very nice dividend yield a double a credit rating company low debt to cap as you saw the balance sheet with the debt to equity ratio so overall Cisco does look like a great buying opportunity right now is it possible that it drop lower to maybe around $35 or even goes to March low of uh, $33 is possible but you're not too far there, only at $37. So I think right now it presents a great buying opportunity for Cisco. 
So with that, I have a, a buy recommendation for Cisco. So there you have it. I think Cisco is a great buying opportunity right now. The dividend is very nice at a 3.76%. Um, actually, I think it's a little higher because uh, a lot of these dividend yields are from yesterday's closing price. So it might be even almost 3.8% or a little higher than that, but still outstanding dividend, very well covered, has a nice dividend growth. The payout ratio is only 46%. They've been growing dividends for nine years and the five year dividend growth rate is over 13%. So it's very nice uh, dividend growth investor type of company. Uh, I think it's undervalued right now and I think it's a buy. So let me know in the comments what's your thought about Cisco stock right now. Uh, and again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it. And check out my free ebook in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.